Have you ever seen a sad person in a Lamborghini? Uh, I personally haven't because I'm usually inside the Lamborghini and I'm very happy, so. But if you're outside, think about it. They're all smiling. I mean, you're in a Lamborghini. Life's perfect. I mean, it's your life's gonna be elevated to a whole new level you could never imagine. So, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that, uh, first of all, you do have the funds for it, and then go on to your local uh, Lamborghini dealership. A real Lamborghini, the doors go up. Uh, Huracans are, are for peasants, as well as Gallardos and the rest of those fake Lamborghinis. Um, but it's, as we all know, it's, it's not a Lamborghini. So you're gonna wanna go, before you buy that vehicle, you're gonna wanna verify the doors do go up. Um, you know, hit the little button, make sure they're going up nice and smooth. Have the dealership help you out. Um, if the doors do indeed go out to the left or right, um, you're just going to want to keep on moving. That's not a Lamborghini. Basically, the, the Rockin' or the Gallardo, it's the Porsche Boxster of a Lamborghini. It's like, even the designers are like, I don't even know why we made this. We hate it. Um, but someone somewhere thought it was a good idea. Hopefully they're fired by now. I've actually sent in a letter to make sure that that designer was indeed uh, fired because I feel like having these inferior fake Lamborghini models being sold uh, next to the real ones is actually decreasing the value and uh, nobody money. Sure, I could probably import some elephant skin though and have someone you can do whatever you want. wrap it. So is this kind of like the poor man's Lamborghini or? You're gonna find that you'll be able to navigate the world in ways you haven't imagined possible before. Basically talk to anyone however you want, uh, treat them however you want, it doesn't matter because you're rich and you're handsome. You drive a Lamborghini, um, so life's beautiful. Um, they're just working their, their normal nine to five. You're gonna find that you can roll into a Starbucks or a, a valet, you can tip whatever you want, you can ask for whatever, whatever type of coffee you want, it doesn't matter because you drive a Lamborghini. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, how much did we make last month? 15 million? That's ridiculous. We need to do better. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Grab a drink. Grande, iced caramel macchiato. Uh, rich, please. Iced grande caramel macchiato? Yeah. And your first name was Rich? No, just make it rich, please. Yeah. An extra shot, or that could be defined more syrup. Whatever just makes it rich, if that means a little more coffee, then that works for me. Yeah, you'll be lucky if you talk to me later. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, bye. How's it going? Great, how are you? I'm doing well. Where are you, where are you filming? Uh, no. Oh, there's someone filming here. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, people usually do. Yeah, I'll need to self-park it though. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah. So it'll be fifteen dollars to leave it up here, and if you want to just pay now, keep your keys. Uh, we close at six. You'll be you'll be all set. Okay. So. Jeez, this guy thought he was gonna park my car. Why I should buy a Lamborghini Murcielago right now? Well, first of all, do you have the funds for it? Yes. Okay. That's critical. But seeing that you're in. Uh, you're in good hands, my friend. Why you should be buying a Lamborghini right now. I'm gonna need you, after this video, I'm gonna need you to go to the dealership, slap that check down and get one, I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, think about driving down the highway and being able to ignore all traffic laws. You can basically ignore all laws of life once you own a Lamborghini. Just go do it after, I mean, literally leave right now and go buy that Lamborghini. And the doors go up. And that's one of the most critical things. Because then people know. I mean, if you roll up, I mean, let's be honest, no one's looking at you if your doors go out to the side. Almost every car does that. But a Lamborghini. So what's your opinion on speed bumps? In the places where Lamborghini owners like to hang out, we don't have speed bumps. All our cars are low and fast. No one can tell us to slow down. What are your thoughts on compact parking? Well, honestly, so I bought a Lamborghini about uh, 10 years ago, and I have valeted it uh, every day since then. So I'm not really, uh, what, what do you mean by compact parking? What do you mean by parking at all? I guess they do have valet parking. Yeah, I don't know, I usually have someone else park it for me. What kind of things do you say to a valet 
when you drop your car off with them to park? Uh, well, generally, uh, when you when you drop your car off at a valet, as I mentioned earlier, they're just blown away to meet you, right? Like seeing meeting a Lamborghini owner, uh, meeting someone of your stature. Um, so you can kind of say whatever you want. You can tell them to off, or um, you can say you're welcome. Come in, and they're like, yeah, sir. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. And I'll just go ahead and say, yeah, you're welcome. It's not an elevator, but it's better than stairs. Oh, hey, how you doing? Very good. I like the I know. I would not be caught dead in a Lamborghini. Lamborghini with the doors that go out to the sun. Can I just, again, I just, I have no idea um, if anyone that works at Lamborghini happens to come across this video. Uh, please, please get in contact with me. I'd like to talk to you about what in the you guys were thinking. Obviously, you weren't thinking much. Uh, when you're rich and a Lamborghini owner, you just you just get chauffeured. And you guys can have fun with those toys, those golf carts, Segways, all that. But uh, generally, Lamborghini owners, we're either driving ourselves in our Lamborghini or just uh, having someone drive us around. I can't stress it enough why the doors don't go up. Lamborghini, I'm telling you. What are you doing? We don't build cars for peasants, okay? And yes, I said we, because Matthias is your brand ambassador. Gave me a free Lamborghini at 12 years old because he knew I was destined for greatness. What the f you guys were thinking when you made the doors go to the side? That's why we have Ferrari and Porsche and Aston Martin. We have cars for peasants, okay? They already exist. We don't need to make ones. Keep the doors up, that's all we need. Get rid of the fake Lamborghinis. There's plenty of manufacturers for regular pedestrians out there. I can't stress it enough.